Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2014. Let's get started. The first thing you have to do is you have to do a Google search and Microsoft SQL Server 2014 and then go with this link. And over here, we can see the download button. Click on it. You have to download two things. The first thing is uh, if your PC is 64 bit, then you can download this um, Express 64 bit SQL Express. All right. So, this one, which is 196.7 MB, first you download this, and then uh, after this, you have to download one more thing that is the Management Studio. Management Studio 64 bit over here, SQL Management Studio uh, .exe. This is around 683.9 MB. You have to download both the uh, files. You can do one by one. And after hitting the download, you can see in the downloads folder. Now, I have downloaded both the files. The first thing you need to do is that you have to install SQL Express. So let's get started. I'm just starting with SQL Express. Let me say yes. Uh, it will extract all the files in the C drive downloads folder. Once it got extracted, then you have to start with the setup. The extraction is done. Now you will get this kind of uh, window where you have to choose the first option new sql server standalone installation all right click on that then it will take you to the another window where you have to accept the license and this is optional and click next and then uh, if you need to check for updates uh, you can do that but as of now i'm not going to check this checkbox let me go with next and it is going to scan few things um, if it is done then by default you can see all the items got selected so let me say next and then this is the instance if you wish to change the name of the instance you can do that but basically we used to have the uh, instance name as sql express so either you can choose default then in case uh, in if you choose default then it will be ms sql server you just need to remember this so let me keep it as uh, sql express or if you have messed it up just go back and again you have to click on next and it will show you this option again so you can keep as it is like sql express if you wish to edit yeah you can do that uh, or if you wish to change the instance name you can do that but you should remember the instance name which is required to log in all right now let me proceed with the same that is sql sql express now here the these are the two services like sql server database and then sql server browser we are not going to change anything here click next Now in this option, this is most important option where if you just go with Windows authentication mode only, then you can click on next, but it will not allow you to set the password for your database. You can set password to your database only if you choose mixed mode. So you have to click on this mixed mode and you can enter the password. For instance, uh, let me just keep a short password. And the default username will be SA, okay? You can see that it is SA it is given for the admin account. Next, and that's all. So it will take a while to get installed. And after the successful installation, then we have to install the second setup that is SQL Management Studio.
maybe in between you might get some sort of error like net fx error in that case you are let me just go to control panel and then over here i need to just go with uh, security here programs and you have to go to turn windows features on or off and over here you have to enable this option dotnet framework 3.5 includes 2.0 and 3.0 in case if this is not selected then you have to check this and then you have to click on ok it will take a while and then you can continue with the setup some of you might might uh, you know not have this dotnet 3.5 uh, version installed in your PC. So in that case, you have to enable that option. That is called as NetFX, NetFX error. All right. Now the setup is almost getting completed. Meanwhile, you can go through my YouTube channel where I have several playlists for ASP and I have added some projects even in the ASP playlist where it will be useful for you people to get the concepts uh, clear. So do check these playlists and make it useful. Now the setup is done. I'm just going to say close. Everything is successful here. You can see that fine now basically only X sql express got installed right we don't have a proper gui to operate it so that is why we have to go for the management studio let me install sql management studio now i have just clicked on open file again it will get extracted Once if it is extracted, maybe you can check it out in the downloads folder. And you can see that this is how it is getting extracted. And inside that you will have these files. So once you are done with the setup, means installation, then you can remove these files. Okay. Now in this, we have few options to take care. Again, I'm going with new sql standalone installation so i'm not just going to update let me just proceed with next you can skip this scan even and say next now perform new installation or add features to an existing instance because we have installed sql express right so and then our instance name is sql express i asked you people to remember it fine so let me go with this option add features to an existing instance because we have already created the instance in the previous setup let me say next and here you have to select all because you can see this management tools basics and all so let me select all all right again this much space is required um 1.6 gb around and next and now the setup will again start this will take a while and after that, I'll show you how to log in and how to create a sample table database and all those things. And again, this is successful. You can see that. Click close button. Now we can close all these things. Fine. Now we have to just search for SQL and you will get this option sql server management studio all right now open this 
now we are into the sql server database and you can see that the login is sa by default and the password is the one you have created during the setup and say this remember password so if you choose windows authentication it will not ask for any of the password fine you can directly log in and uh, this is server name is your pc name slash the instance name we have created the instance name for us is sql express all right and there are other server type options basically we keep it as database engine fine and if you want to create report and all then we will be you have to keep it in reporting service so that we will see later now let me put it in sql server mode and the password is uh, the short password which i have created and the username is sa now let me say connect the moment you click on connect it should go into this database and you can see that the same if you want to disconnect you can disconnect here right now it is connected fine and uh, if you want to refresh you can do it over here now if you want to write a query you have to click on this new query here and then you can write the sql queries over here fine so now i'll show you one more thing that in case my username or if my password is wrong i have disconnected it fine now if i say connect it will ask for the um let me say my password is something else in this case it should not work if i say connect it will throw this kind of error cannot connect to the pc name slash the instance and maybe uh, you might end up with these kind of errors few errors so in that case maybe your instance might not get created properly in that case you have to take care of that step that creating instance so if that is pro uh, perfectly done then you can log in into your database easily fine so right now i have logged in and you can see the properties even here and it is showing the connection name this is very important for us because when we want to connect our database sql database table information with visual studio so we need to use this connection name right now we can see these are all the databases and uh, and system databases will be there here master by default you can see that master is selected here fine now if you want to create a database you have to write create database and then database name let me say rk keynotes fine that's all now we have to just click on this execute button over here fine start debug and let me run all right you can see this uh, command successfully completed so let me refresh here it's not getting refreshed and let me refresh here again huh. now you can see that that my database got created rk keynotes and still it is not getting changed right it is master only either you can change it here over here directly or if you want to change by code then you have to simply say let me remove this use rk keynotes fine and and again i can use this execute right yeah you can see that it got changed to rk keynotes now i can create table inside this so let me say create table table name uh, is emp something like this then if i say id int name worker let me say mm, maybe 20 and close the bracket and now i just need to select the item and execute now if i open this database and my table name should be there you can see that this is that one now i can insert records and delete records you can create views triggers and many things like stored procedures so we will uh, look into these things uh, ddl dml queries by the next video
so i hope that uh, you got to know how to download and install sql express and sql management studio so if you have any queries let me know in the comment section if you like the video do hit the like button thank you and thanks for watching the video